Whenever you guys are ready, can you explain what you've built? Yeah, sure. So um, we de develop uh, interactive video games. So the idea was inspired by um, Lab 2 and an internet online game is called The Water Nugget. So, um, the, uh, so the role is pretty simple. There are totally seven fruits and we represent in different size of balls. And the ultimate goal is to um, to have as many watermelons as you can in the container, which is the largest fruit. Okay. As you can see, here is the container. And when the game starts, um, there's on, the game will only spawn one of the three smallest fruits on the top. And if you hit the joystick left and right, the balls will move you so that you can choose where to drop your fruits. Okay. And when you hit down, the fruits will drop into the container. So uh, in this mode, we call it the gravity mode. So we'll, we have the gravity force effect on each fruit. So the fruits will stay stay down on yeah. the container. And yeah, so when the same size of fruit collides with each other, they will merge together into a larger one. Okay, so those two just merge to a blue, those merge to a yellow. Yeah, so okay. we also add the, like an effect for merging effect. Like we spawn several like boys yeah. <laughs> 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 spreading out and they only last for a second. Yeah, so. Sure, yeah. And then they dissipate. Disappear, yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's say these two greens, when they fall, there will be a... Oh, how cool. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, so as I mentioned, the ultimate goal is to merge as many watermen as possible. And the game end criteria is when any of the ball hits the top boundary of the container, the game will over. So let's just do a quick... Gotcha. Quick demo. So... Uh, yeah, by the way, we also have the BGM. Uh, yeah, so we have yeah. uh, we have two modes, and we have separate background music for it. Okay. So, as you can hear. Can you turn it up a little. Yeah. So this is the core sequence, which we synthesize with the deck module. So there's background music, and then I'm hearing a sound effect every time that. Yeah, so when merge, we also have the sound. How nice. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah because the red ball hits the up boundary. Wow. The over, and wow. it will jump back to the main menu after several seconds. Or you can just hit any button. So the, the physics looks really nice. Yes. The collisions and bouncing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we also we develop a collision detect and also we we also have the like prevent overlapping okay because like when we are experimenting with the collide function we found that there is some some circumstances that the ball will overlap with each other so we also have the function for solving that problem okay yeah so in in other in, Mode two, this is a non-gravity mode. So just do a quick demo. Oh, they float. Yeah, yeah. so there's no gravity effect on the ball. There's only friction. So this this is probably a more challenging yeah, mode, yeah. right? I think that this is a hard mode of this game because the, the ball will uh, reach the upper boundary more easy, easier than. Oh, but to knock one down, you have to use a different color. Mm, yeah. So we also have the different background music yeah. here. Yes. Do the... I'm trying to pay attention to the bounces. Like, this red one just bounced off the blue one. Yeah. Is the red one sort of modeled as smaller mass? Like, does the red one bounce more than the blue one moves? Yeah, or yeah. are they all sort of equal yeah. mass? Because they have different masses, so they, when they collide with each other, we perform elastic collision. So yeah. the smaller one will uh, have, have the... Wow. Do you, do you calculate the forces on your screen directly and integrate it then? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you do a full force integration? Or do you use... Uh, yeah, you use uh, momentum. 
So you use it. So you use it. Conservation of millennium momentum and conservation of energy. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. It's quite convincing. How do you drop one by pushing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pushing the down. Down. Button. Oh. Left and right to choose the position. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, because it hit the top. It hit the top. So that getting that to be stable and accurate is not easy. That's a that's a hard algorithm to yes. make stable. So we also utilize the model for. Uh, ability of the Pico. So uh -huh. on core zero, we run run the whole animation and the calculation, mm -hmm. and on core one, we uh, just synthesize the background music. So you're synthesizing the music. Using okay. The DDS. DDS. Okay. And you can also turn the BGM off. So you can turn off the background music. Yeah. yeah. Do the sound effects still work with the background music off, or? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> so it turns off sounds yeah, essentially. I, I okay. Test of this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. There's no sound. Wow. So it seems, uh, based on the understanding of your goals, mm. that um, this seems to match your vision almost exactly. Yeah. Like as far as I understood, what the objectives were from your. Um, proposal. This seems like exactly what you proposed. Yes. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And then up here, you're keeping track of oh yeah score so, play state. Uh, yeah, so the score is calculated by uh, <coughs> how many balls you have, and depends on their size. And yeah. it's really nice, guys. Really cool demo. Thank you. 